Olay, 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 and welcome to All Your Living Needs. I'm your host, John O, and this is the San Jose Earthquakes versus Seattle Sounders FC predictions for the game 1030 tonight, August 2nd. Previous meetings have seen the San Jose uh, win three, lose two. Uh, season goal leaders are Chris Wendolowski with seven from San Jose, Atiba Harris with three, Victor Bernendez with two, Yannick Dejawa with two, Carl Stevenson with two, and Cordello Cato with two. Seattle Sounders FC, on the other hand, have Clint Dempsey, the amazing World Cup leader, Obafemi Martins with eight, and Lamar Nagal with five. Season stats show San Jose uh, playing 18 and Seattle Sounders having played 19 games. Seattle, uh, San Jose has won five, lost eight, and drawn five. Seattle Sounders have won 12, lost five, and drawn two. This is a very lopsided game, and we're going to get into that in a minute. San Jose Earthquakes are coming off an amazing win against the Chicago Fire, but it's not going to help them in this to increase their rankings in this conference. Uh, unfortunately, I made a joke here. I don't think it's too funny, but what can you expect from a Silicon Valley team? Disciplinary report, Lenhart and Stewart are one caution away from a suspension. On the disabled list, we have defender Tommy Muller with a lower back spasm. Uh, defense, Andres Gorlitz with a right torn ACL. Conference standings, they are number nine. And for the Western Conference, that means they're in the last place. Seattle Sounders FC, despite goalkeeper Marcus Hanneman continuing, uh, continuing being out for several games, the Seattle Sounders are doing amazingly well. And if you haven't already, check out All Your Living Needs, our daily news. We had uh, the video clip of Hanneman test flying uh, with uh, the Blue Angels. He got up to a 7.6 Gs until he passed out. Disciplinary report, there's none. Uh, disabled list, defense, uh, Damian Lowe has a lower hip injury. Uh, forward, Kevin Parzmin, uh, I apologize for that. It looks like Parmesan. Uh, ACL tear, and then, of course, goalkeeper Marcus Henneman. Uh, they are the number one conference standing in the West in the Western Conference. So, notes on predictions. Well, I just called the Colorado Rapids versus Real Salt Lake as the game of the weekend, and I'm going to call this the game to skip. First of all, it's on very late for us Easterners. It's on at 10.30 at night, and if you're not already at the bars of the clubs, you're probably passed out of sleep like I'll be tonight. Uh, Seattle is just going to run rings around San Jose, uh, and they're just ill-prepared for this coming up game, uh, having come off an amazing win against Chicago Fire. Now, I, despite saying that they're going to absolutely dominate, um, I did give them... Uh, I did give... Uh, San Jose, one point in my prediction. Again, these predictions are for fun, but I am predicting a 4-1 to one win for the Seattle Sounders. Again, this kind of goes against everything that I said because, you know, normally I say that if, uh, if a team is all specifically one or two players making goals, they're not going to be doing great. But Seattle Sounders, it seems to be working. But Dempsey is having an amazing year. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Again, hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share uh, this video. Let me know uh, what you think, where you want me to go from here. Uh, we're gearing up to do EPL, and that's going to be really exciting. So if you're a fan of English Premier League, let me know. Talk to you later. Ole, ole, ole. Have a great weekend. Uh, don't forget to uh, keep warm, keep safe, and uh, have an enjoyable weekend. Cheers. Thanks so much. Bye.